Today we're discussing pathworking, the tree of life. My name is Mae Edwards, and I'm so glad you stopped by. Oh, and here's a little message for you today. Now, some of you may be asking, what is pathworking, and why might the practice be useful to you? Pathworking is a meditative visualization exercise accessing ancient archetypes and linking this wisdom into your imagination. We do this by using symbolism from the Tree of Life's template and the 22 paths which link the spheres as our jumping off point. Then a daydreaming-like meditative state unfurls in your imagination, a story where you're taking a ride of discovery. Pathworking's mission is to help you get creative and access your higher self, to let go of the loop of psychological suffering, to assist in your emotional healing, to bring you clear realization of your inherent divinity and of your own authority and station over your life's direction. And well, it's just so much fun. Our imagination and our thoughts are startlingly powerful. And most of the time, we allow our imagination, these powerhouses, to rule our lives rather than being the commander over them. So to prepare yourself for pathworking, you would need to set aside a little time to familiarize yourself with the concepts of the path that you'd like to focus on. In the upcoming videos, I'll be showing you how to get ready for pathworking each of the 22 paths. Some folks start at the bottom of the tree and others like me I'll begin at the top, but either way you would want to cycle through both approaches because both directions carry profound insights. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with the paths and the tarot card associated with that path. Then contemplate both Sephiroth connected to the path. After you understand the concepts of the path and the connected spheres, then you'd like to perhaps set aside some time to close your eyes and dream up all the details of your home base. This is the place in your imagination where you will feel safe and where you'll start all your meditations from. I call this Temple Malkut. So in your mind's eye, take great care in thinking up all the particulars and all the lovely attributes of this safe home that you're creating in your imagination. And once your home temple is dreamt up, then you'll set up for yourself tailored scenarios and imagined environments before your actual meditation. And I'll provide more assistance in future videos to familiarize you with the symbols and the concepts, along with meditative music that I'll write for you to assist you in your meditations. As your mind becomes more and more trained, there's um, like a conduit and the guidance from your higher self may very well show up as breathtaking, deep, healthful realizations. For me, pathworking is a form of ritual and I do recognize that what I've imagined in pathworking, it appears in my physical world. And I work under guardian aspects of the archangelic beings of the tree, and I am reverent to this dimension. Thanks for watching. What is pathworking? And if this is valuable information, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Until then, I send you love and light. Please be so good to yourself for me.